Hello, my name is Ivan Irons and I'm here today to walk you through an introduction video on our CNC eCourse. Now I run a website called cncinformation.com and at any time you can go to that site and get more information. But really this is day one in an introductory video to the overall CNC process. So let's jump into it. Really what's this eCourse about? Well, for the most part, it's going to be seven total days and seven different emails. And what it's going to be is really a general introduction into the basic process of CNC. It's not going to get too in-depth, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. But it's a really a general overview to give you an idea of the various steps involved in CNC. So what is this e-course not? It's, it's just like I said, it's not going to be in depth. We aren't going to get into specific information about software or codes you might have, or maybe you have a question about a machine you've run or a problem you've run into. This e-course is not going to address that. It's really just about the overall various steps in CNC. Now, a lot of people ask me, Ivan, why did you put this course together? And really, I wish it was around when I got into CNC. I worked my way through it. I found out about machining first and then kind of went upstream and found out a bit about a few of the other pieces. But really, I wish this was around when I first got into this. So it would give me a framework to hang various information on. Now, CNC is moving from production to a hobby. Now this is in the United States. There's still a lot of production going on. CNC is used in manufacturing all over the United States. But it's really going through a change over the last few years of this technology moving down to the hobbyist level. And we're going to get into that. You'll see on the left here is a production machine. This is a Haas, H-A-A-S. This is a Haas lathe, a production machine. You make part after part once you set up a program. And this is something that you would find in industry in some way, shape, or form. Now, it could be in the United States. It could be overseas. On the right-hand side, you see CNC technology used in a CNC router. This happens to be a CNC router that I built. And you use this for, I use it for making signs or various projects uh, and kind of fun things. But the point is, is this technology has gone from a very guarded group in industry into your own garage and you can do this at home. So here are the five steps, the five overall steps to the CNC process. These are the steps that every single person goes through when they're doing a CNC project. You see the first one up there is design. You're thinking and planning on what you want to do and what you want to build. The next one is CAD, which is computer-aided design. You're translating your design into the computer so you can manipulate it. CAM, you're converting that design into a machine's language. Now, it's very specific to your type of machine, what type of tooling you have, that sort of thing, which we'll get into. Then it goes into controlling, which really you're directing that machine's motion in a very specific way or directing it in a very specific order of movement. And finally, which a lot of people are used to or know about is machining, and that's really building that part to its specifications. This is the actual rubber meets the road. We're removing material. We are building a part. That's kind of the final step. So CNC, a lot of it is front end loaded, and machining uh, is kind of right at the tail end. Now here is a look at that process laid out. Design, CAD, CAM, control, machine. You can't skip any of these steps if you're doing a CNC project. They all go together and you have to do them in that order. And that's kind of what this e-course is about, walking through that order and describing each of those uh, steps in the process. Now tomorrow we're going to go into CNC design, which is the first step in that process. But in the meantime, if you're interested in any other CNC information, you can go to cncinformation.com or you'll see the address there for my blog. Uh, type that in and uh, you'll get current information on kind of what's going on in the world of CNC. Thanks.